Super pieces! Wait, so you guys thought I was gonna say something else? Really? Huh. That's weird. But anyways, welcome to a brand new video, everybody. As you guys know, I am Super Pieces, and today we're gonna be taking a look at all the veteran sets that are releasing this spring. So let's just get right into it. So first off, we have the Batman Classic TV series Bad Mobile. The set will retail for $29.99 and will release on April 1st. And at the time I'm recording this video, it's actually gonna be this Thursday, which is pretty exciting. And no, I don't think this is gonna be an April Fool's show, guys. It's okay, don't worry about it. I don't think like it's gonna just say, yo guys, how about if we give you a cool DC set on April 1st? It's gonna be great. I'm sure you guys will love that. And psych! The set actually doesn't exist, and we're also canceling the DC theme. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. They're just gonna prank us on April 1st. That's just ridiculous to think about. They're not gonna do that. I hope not. But now, how about if we start talking about the set? And let's start with the Batmobile itself. I really like the build of the Batmobile. I think it looks very accurate to the show. And I think it looks better than the one we got in 2016 with the Batcave. I think it's a great upgrade. Also, I like it has those printed pieces on the wheels. They look really cool. And I think it's cool that they give you the option to swap out the stock shooters. Like, if you couldn't tell the sleeker pieces they have as extra pieces, quote unquote, you can swap those out for the stock shooters and just make the mobile look more slicker if you just want to display it and not play with it. And I think it's a great option they're giving you here. And also, they're giving you a stand to put Bad Mobile on if you just want to display it, which I think is cool. And also, that's a sticker, not a print, by the way, for the plaque. Which, it's fine, I'm not gonna really worry about that one, because those are easy to put on. But, yeah, that's all I have to say about the bad mobile, so let's just talk about the figures now. So first off, we got Joker, and I really like this figure. I love the printing on the legs, torso, and the face, and I really like they gave him his little mustache he had on this show. I think this figure just looks fantastic, and also he has a little weapon right there. It's kind of like a grappler, and I think that's kind of a fun build. And then we got Batman, I think this is a cool figure as well, but he's not as cool as Joker because he has one problem, and that problem is a face print. When you take off the mask, you're gonna see a bluish face print. Instead of a regular skin tone, you're gonna see a bluish skin tone. And I don't know why this is an issue on LEGO, like, the face prints on Batman are just evolving, but backwards, and I don't know why, like, this wasn't an issue in the past, but now it is, and they haven't fixed it since, I think it was 2019 we started having this type of issue, and they haven't fixed it since, which, it sucks, because they should fix this, like, right away, instead of just letting it be, and continuing to be an issue on all Batman figures, but hey, I really hope they fix this, like, next year, or maybe this year, if we are getting more DC sets, for Batman, they fix it. I don't know. I just want them to fix that soon. But the rest of this figure looks fine to me. I really like the printing on the cowl and the torso and the legs. I'm kind of sad they didn't give him the more legs, but that's fine. I think the printing works for this time. But yeah, that's all my thoughts on this set. I really like it, and I will 100% recommend it for $30. But now, let's take a look at the other set that got revealed today. So the second set that got revealed today was the Batman versus the Joker. Bad Mobile Chase. The set will retail for $39.99 and will release sometime in May. And honestly, for a 4 Plus set, this actually looks really good. The Bad Mobile build looks pretty good for a 4 Plus set. I mean, it looks decent, but it looks pretty good for a 4 Plus set again. And the Joker vehicle looks decent. I wouldn't say it's good, but it looks fine to me. But honestly, like, I am really, but really impressed by this build. Like, I actually can't believe it. Like, if you compare this to other past Batman 4 Plus sets, this one just stands out. Like, this set just looks like a normal set compared to those 4 Plus sets we've gotten in the past. Like, the Arkham Asylum set on 2019 and the Batman vs. Riddler set on 2019 as well. 
it's just one just stands out, I'm telling you. When I saw this pictures for the first time, I actually thought they were fake. Because in my mind, I thought, this builds look way too good for a 4 plus set. This has to be fake. And then I got proven wrong, of course. And I had a moment of enlightenment and realization. And I was like, whoa, this can't be true. Oh my god. And I, my head just exploded. Wow. That was me in that moment. But anyways, let's just talk about the figures on this set. Because they are honestly kind of bad in my opinion. Because first, we're getting three reused figures. Joker from 2019. Which, he's a good figure. But honestly, like... Another reuse figure again, seriously. Then we have Batgirl from the Bat Truck we got last year, which is again another reuse figure, and it takes out the value from that set since that was an exclusive figure. And honestly, if they were gonna take out an exclusive figure from that set, I wouldn't want Batgirl to be honest. I would have rather to have Nightwing because this Batgirl looks bad in my opinion. I do not like her suit at all, and I know it is accurate to the comics, but the suit on the comics also looks bad, the suit on LEGO looks bad, I would rather if they did another version of her, cause I just don't like her rebirth suit at all. And then we have the 4 plus Batman we've been getting since forever, which he looks fine I guess, but you know, again, another reuse figure. So I think the builds on this set look really good, love the Batmobile, decent Joker vehicle and the little bank build on the side, which looks like a 4 plus build, looks again decent as well. So, you know, I wouldn't really recommend this set on full price because it's $40. I don't see it that worth it. But if you see it on sale for like 20% off, yeah, sure, I recommend it. And lastly, let's take a look at the Batman Cowl set that got revealed a few days ago. I didn't cover the news when it came out, so I thought, you know, might as well just chuck it in here in this video with the other 2D sets that got revealed today. So, this set will retail for $59.99 and will be releasing on April 26. And I have a love and hate relationship with this set, because I don't think it's the best thing in the world, but I don't think it's the worst helmet we've gotten so far. Like, we've seen worse, okay guys? Looking at you, Iron Man helmet. And I just think it just falls under the middle in my helmet ranking. Like, it's not the best, it's not the worst, just fine slash decent. There's some cool things on this set. For example, the white eyes, they look really neat. And also, the little pointy ears he has on his cowl as well. They look cool as well. But then, you got some shaping issues on the actual helmet itself. And then, when you look at it at some angles, it just looks bad and just like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that set very much. So again, I think it's just a decent slash fine looking set to me. But that's all my thoughts on this set. In general, I think this is a pretty solid wave for DC. I would like it better if we had more sets. And also, I would like it better if you had some Justice League spread around there instead of old Batman. But hey, at least the spring wave is looking pretty good. But let me know you guys' opinions about this wave in general down in the comments below. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Tell me down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And while you're there, subscribe because I'm sure you won't regret it. That's it for today's video. And I will see you guys on the next one.